Anyway. Kinburn, <laughs> Sammy Hagar. That'd be sweet. Like, it's like, it's like Civil War talking parts. He's like, yeah, man. Just here on the Sweetest Madeline. <laughs> My dearest Mina. It's day 12 of Rockfest. And I've only gotten three blowjobs. I can't believe I didn't get invited to Us Festival. The cocaine is <laughs> taking its toll. Someday I'll show that f***ing Van Halen who's boss. I'll rule. You have these stodgy historians like, yes, this was this was the part of 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 Sammy's, of Mr. Hagar's career where, I don't know, blah 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 blah, and academic academic. Next on PBS. <laughs> Next yeah. on the PBS, pledge drive. But see, that's what I always Sammy. Si- if I have to say, if I was going to be donating to public television, I would pick today to donate to get this amazing box set of Ken Burns' Sammy Hagar documentary. Don't you agree? We have Standing pe- Hampton? We have the- people standing by. <laughs> the Sammy Hagar story? Yes. We have caught... We have, uh, it's a picture of a guy with his dick in his hand. <laughs> there are uh, receivers standing by to take your call. For some reason, I watched like 25 minutes of, of P- P- this PBS pledge drive of of, uh, of Neil, like it's this Neil Diamond concert. Like I've never seen. They were basically like whacking off to Neil Diamond. Like, oh my God, where do you even begin in this f-ing catalog? It's amazing. All right, what do you got? You got you got some you got a ball? What do you got? We're doing Madonna's new album. Madame X. Because she's extreme! <laughs> Alright, I already saw oh, you gave an intro. Uh, if, uh, if anyone has anything to pimp out, you have 15 seconds. Chris always wants people to go eat at Biagi's or Ancho and Agave. Yeah, make sure I remain employed, please. Okay. That would be cool. Also, they're good. Um, also, I'd like people to come by and drop off money. Yeah. If you're listening, I could use cash. I need a little walking around money. Not a lot, just. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is oh, how whatever. lame our podcast is. If you subscribe, I will give you a free shout out. Here's our uh, our new subscriber who has like 15 more subscribers than we do. Chander, <laughs> Chander Slizak. Slizak? Is that like the Sl- Chander, Land of the Lost thing? Chander the Sh- Land of the Lost? Chander Slizak. Apparently, based on his YouTube channel, he uh, likes people who don't have many followers. <laughs> Ooh, liking to steal what they do, because who's going to know? His... <laughs> so, thanks. Thanks, Chander Slizak. Slezak. Slezak. Most Slezak. We appreciate it. We appreciate the patronage. Please don't subscribe after you hear that rant. All right. <laughs> we're doing... We're going to cut all that out. Madonna. Madonna has a new album. Yay. Let's see if she's finally f***ing grown up. Can I say it like my dad said? I'm going to call her Madonna. Madonna? <laughs> I like that Madonna chick. <laughs> <laughs> the one that sings like a virgin. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, can you turn off the music? So there's no intro here other than to say this is only the second new album we've done together. So this might be Boarding House Reach Part 2. That's what I'm sensing Ooh. from this. But actually, that's probably a t- being too nice. This is, I'm, I'm going to guess. Yeah, let's all guess because I've heard nothing from this. Have you heard anything? Uh-uh. I have yeah, no I've idea. heard literally nothing from this. So the last it's gonna be from yeah, Madonna it's gonna be a slog. Let's do that. Let's write down our scores. You have a piece of paper. We'll it's gonna be a slog. You're gonna have to. Um, you're gonna have to really listen right and comment at the same this? time. Well, what I want to we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. We don't got scripts. I'll set the parameters like one to ten being, or like zero to ten. Zero being like tapestry. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. To like, I don't know. We haven't. I don't know if we've ever had ten. Cause 
on the right, podcast. Like, George Michael Stanley, like a pleasant, like, my, like a like a hmm, good. an enjoyable experience to an absolute hellish slog being zero. <laughs> so, yeah. so like ten. N- there's never been like ecstasy in this podcast. So, I don't know. Make up your own zero to ten, and you have to kind of be honest and stick with. It. I'm gonna guess. Winter wait. You? So you're all being truthful. None of you have heard anything from this. Not I have not a heard. note. Okay. Not one note. Um, Thank you. Would you like to hear all the song titles first? That could help. Yes. Oh, my God. Right. What are they? Do they have anything to have do you with seen bondage that cover? and submission? It looks, fa- not a it looks fairly tasteful. M- Medellin, Dark Ballet, Crap, God Control, Crap, Future, mm, Batuka, mm, Killers Who Are Partying, Crap, Crave, Crazy bunch of cliche song titles extreme accident that sounds like a jack white thing faz gustoso bitch i'm loca oh boy. i don't search i find looking for mercy and i How rise many of these have the word featuring in the title <sighs> yeah this that's seems like a good one this, this <laughs> seems yeah. like it's gonna be really painful chris and i are of the age where when it says featuring you just go oh that's gonna suck <laughs> I'm since since I was not even close in the Frampton thing. I'm gonna go with a zero. No, because that's tapestry level. I'm gonna go a one point eight six 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 out of ten. <laughs> what do you can go? What do you? What's your guess? I'll, I'll, I'll go two point three three. Two point three. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll go a little higher than that. Uh, She'll probably like it more than me. I'll be nicer, and then she'll like it more than me. She'll like it like up in the upwards of four, somewhere in there. Four out of ten, you think? I, I'm guessing four out of ten for you, okay. because this is Madonna, and she has those. You know, they'll, they'll be like four songs you like. I guess in there. no weird percentage you'd like to put in there. Just a four out of ten. <laughs> no, I'm gonna count my like round numbers. Okay. Go with a four. She's an accountant. If it doesn't f- it add up, <laughs> you better be sitting at that desk figuring out why. <laughs> All right, anything else to say? This is why it takes me it. so long to get home. Here we go. Here's Medellin. How are you sitting at home Son right now? Of a f- <laughs> <laughs> so I'll fill time for a minute <laughs> and just talk about. We went on an entire talk about Talking Heads and David Byrne. Oh. Whatever. Here's We're Madonna's do a new stupid heads. album. It's playing. There you go. Oh, so this is going to be good. bad. She's I hate it already. right off the bat. Well, she's like 70. Oh, man. I've never hated anything so fast. I am. I, I won already. <laughs> Ooh. That's a lot of auto-tune right out the gate. Oh, f- I won already. <laughs> I've never won anything in my life. I took a sip and had a dream. Was she dabbing? <laughs> Well, production-wise, it's vaguely similar to uh, Ray of Light album, so maybe. If the whole thing is at least kind of chill, maybe I can get on board with it. Nope. I hate Featuring re- I hate reggae that tone. guy. I hate all- is that Pitbull who are we listening to now? What is this song called? Some guy named Maluma. Me- oh, Med- Medellin? There's too many M's in this title. With Maluma. Yeah, she's trying to do those one of those uh, cartel songs. <laughs> she's trying to get drug money. Yeah. I don't hate this song. This is a weird opener, though. It is a very weird opener. It, what it, kind of a statement are we making with this statement? It has, song? It has that, Holy shit! Is this the first song? <laughs> it has that sparse production. That, I thought we've been listening to this for half an hour. It has that sparse, airy kind of ambient production like Ray of Light has, so I'll give it a chance. I don't mind hearing, because I don't know basically any Spanish, so I can't really figure out what the lyrics are with something like this, but that does leave leave me free to just like let my mind wander and... I'm sick of everybody ripping off R.E.M. and having a rapper come on and sing the break. (laughs) Rap the break. It's just, it's just, yeah, they did it, and then... No, no, you're when? done. Stop it. Make your own song or get the fuck out. When did R.E.M. <laughs> do that? 
Yeah. Hey, at least she's kind of getting back to her Spanish thing. It's been a while with her. Ninety three. With her La Isla, Isla La Isla Bonita bullshit, and the one about the bullfighting one. Uh, K R S one. The show is over. Say goodbye. This is more Mexican pop. It's not really like Spanish chic, but at least she's kind of yeah. For some reason, Madonna you know always like does well with like Spanish speaking. I like it in the headphones. Like, she must have been totally worried about what it was going to sound like in the headphones, because it sounds good there. I don't know if this is going to sound so great, yeah, coming out of speakers Yeah, this is okay. That, is, that started off really bad. But if this is following traditional album format, this is we're in for a sh- show. <laughs> yeah, that's a little... As an opening song, this is a little frightening. Oh, to me. It's not really that this song is so bad. Don't this it. sounds like a Fanta commercial. Ooh, this is the, yeah, like, and this is if this is the best you got. We are a big. Trouble. Do you want not the best? This Fanta? is the opener. Do you wanna, wanna this is supposed to get you excited you wanna, for the rest of the Fanta? album. This is gonna get me excited. Wanna find it? Wanna Fanta, do you wanna? <laughs> if I was floating in a pool, drunk off my ass. Favorite this would be Fanta. Really nice. Favorite Fanta. I orange, know, the obviously. yellow one. Favorite Fanta. Uh, the orange one. <laughs> I like grape. <laughs> what other ones are there? Right? <laughs> orange orange wins. I guess we are in a Fanta commercial. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is already the best Madonna album since actually 1999. I had a peach one one time, and that was really good. I really like that fake peach flavor <laughs> that you get from <sighs> sodas. That's really good, but real peach. When they say, "Oh, it has real peach flavor in it," it's like, "All right, here's probably not gonna be good." Here's dark ballet. The odds of the song being good are very. You sure low. it's not ballet? I don't know. What's a ballet? Well, that's one of those oh, things. Madonna when after Auto-Tune. you after you shoot a bullet, it's a ballet. <laughs> Madonna Auto Tune. <Huh>? Music. <laughs> Look, she made herself sound like Ariana Grande. That's f***ing genius. You want another hit? Ariana Grande. Sound like that chick. Because everybody likes her ponytail. Pretty sure that's why she's famous. She is like garlic bread without butter. I just came up with that. It's pretty awesome, right? That's... Really, it's kind of like, it's, wow, it's really telling. it really feels like I'm, I'm getting Deep. somewhere and then there's no butter. <laughs> That's how I feel about this. I liked the phrasing that we were listening to just then. Dirk Ballot. <laughs> Private Eye. Oh my oh, god, my. this album is the death of pop music. It happened. <laughs> it's over. She's not going for top 40s anymore. She's killed. You got your wish. I mean... What is happening she, with she, this piano? She hasn't killed it. This is like it's not a piano. She she's putting like the final rose on the grave of of top forty pop. Somebody has that best Holy album shit, ever. What just happened? Best album ever. I take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> this just spiked into a we are the lollipop guild. <laughs> Carnival. This is fucking awesome. This is like the demented. Uh, Let me huff this marker real with quick. The, with the <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> In some deep. best line I heard at the time. <laughs> oh my uh, god! Here, I need to sniff this Parker this real quick. This is the most version of the Nutcracker I've ever heard. What no, the I need some of that on? now. This is great. Somebody's just oh. ruining. Someone is ruining Tchaikovsky right now. This is not okay. This is totally. Wait, cool. what is she saying? Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, it's a spoken word piece with someone making a carnival out of Tchaikovsky. This I'm sorry, I like this. I like this. This is the She's completely lost her mind. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god, I might throw up if I for like thirty this seconds. Very long. That, that was awesome. Horrifying. And now it's changed again. Too. Dirk Ballot is my favorite song off this album so far. So she's gone full 
full oh. blown back into. Yeah, we're back. I'm to... an art. I'm hold on. I, how, how do you like the slight no, 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 English no. accent? No, I'm no, an this is, It turned into Billy Joel all of a sudden. <laughs> Someone Uh-oh. blowing into the and microphone. Whoop, or... What happened? It's gone. No, that's all. Was no. She, into the she turned into like Billy Joel for a second there. That I thought was we were awesome. going to hear a Piano Man like song. I already lost because that oh song alone was worth 1.86666 out of 10. <laughs> There's God, God control. control. It can bring it down from there. Bring oh it into God control. Did she. Her and whoever she was working with, were they just like staring at a picture of Lady Gaga like angrily at, at like the keyboard? Like, <laughs> you, you bitch! You're doing me better than I with ever her, did. With their feeble 80 year old fingers. Like, <laughs> who? Wait a minute. What did you say? I don't know. Her 70 year old. Madonna's 80 year old fingers. What? She's 62. Oh, I thought she was competing 62. with somebody. Lady Gaga. Uh, how old is she now? Like 62? 63? Like 70. All right, I'll get my phone. I'm going to guess 59, 60. I'm going, I'm going higher. 69. She's not 70 years old. <laughs> this isn't bad. I didn't say 70. I said 69. Well, this, this is already better than... Because it bottoms out the sound. Yeah. <laughs> 69. She, she hasn't boarding house reached, so... Yeah, she's already got Jack White beat as far as that album goes. <laughs> Now we're doing some kind of like fake opera. No, I'm sorry. What is this called? Chorus thing. Right? Yeah, like a choral piece. God control. Wow. So literally no one tells Madonna no. Is that right now? Is that what that feels like right now? Literally no one. No one tells Madonna no. Oh, yeah, this is great. Did they just go from like a... Yep, same song. God control. They went from like Gregorian chant to whatever the hell this is? Yeah. I'm so confused. I have a headache. What do you want with it? Oh. What do you want from her? She's senile. How old is <laughs> that she? is how it's coming up. 61. That's what, That was my original guess. You said six... You, well, you started at 80, but we all knew you were exaggerating. <laughs> I'd rather... <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather hear what her uh, daughter had to say in music. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Lord Lordess, Lordsis. I don't follow her that closely. She's Earthworm. not on So no, it was like years ago. I thought you'd know. So when Madonna can get her ego out of the way for two fucking seconds, <laughs> she does actually have talent. She proved that in through most of the 90s. I mean, all right, this kind of took a turn for the worse, but... <laughs> what are you talking about? This is right this back is to the... This is the same song that you were listening this to is, when you got up. This is right back to the 80s. You never even... You got up and went and got a beer, and I <laughs> you not. We have not changed songs. We had some cathedral music, uh, some... What do you call it again? Yeah, I know it's Chorus. the same song, but it's different now than when I went to pee. Yes. Pussy control! First of all, I would like to say we're still listening to God control. It is six minutes oh, and yeah. 20 okay. seconds okay. long. So here's what I'm trying to... Oh, God. Here's future with Wait. Quavo. One day we'll do Ray of Light because I love that album. Okay, Ray of Light is the one I remember. Music, I... Yeah, Ray of Light is one of my favorite Shoot. albums in the 90s. I have no recollection of music at all. Everything on here is crap as far as I'm concerned. I never heard any of it. And okay, this is f- terrible. <laughs> yeah, we've, I'm not even listening to this. Uh, is she even you... singing on it? So okay. I'm going to put this alb- I'm going to put this song on my album, but what I want you to do is just write a song and sing it on my album. <laughs> and what I'm going to do in the background is go and I'm just going to accent everything you say. Right, right. So now the backup singer is literally getting the credit. Boom. Okay. Women are succeeding in rock music. <laughs> I'm conceding your point that uh, now I'm yelling. Oh, I heard yell. horns. Yeah, this, this is yet to hit boarding house reach territory. It's not even as bad as U2's last album. <laughs> 
I like how she appropriates. Ooh. This yeah. sounds like a Hyundai commercial. This sounds a little like she's stealing that um, Paul Simon thing, the Graceland thing. Like it's it's not borrowing; it's just straight up. Just hey, give me those everything you're doing. <laughs> like I think that's the 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 difference between. Are you saying this is her Graceland? No, Jesus. I'm saying <laughs> the it's the difference between. Watch the Grammys roll in. I don't like Graceland that much. As if you're as, doing the talent borrows, genius steals thing. Paul Simon was stealing the out of that music. This is look, she's kind of dressing up in it and doing an okay job. I don't know. For she's the time not, period, Paul Simon wasn't kind of stealing; borrowing. he was appropriating. This song hit a really. <laughs> this is abyss. really repetitive and. This doesn't just, really have lyrics. Uh, I don't understand what's happening, also, and I'm, I'm trying not sure to how just. Madonna is even involved in. You're this right. Place. I'm just trying to talk around something I don't understand. Yeah, let me go check my. I want to find anything I can grasp a hold of and just go. Oh, this might be like that, like Paul Simon. I think we've hit an absolute Paul Simon, who is. Here. Not disliked by the people I'm gonna he read, appropriated. I'm going to read my This Sex is on Fire <laughs> essay. <laughs> Good, because I never did get around if, to that. If the album kicks, like if the album, uh, kicks back up, I'll, uh, okay. I'll hold, save it for later. <laughs> I have to get more wine, but you should get some. I've been wanting this to This is do. so bad. No. But I, I like... Okay. How long is this song? Five, this is the long... Minutes. This is the longest five minutes of my life. Okay, I'll always kind of give a bit of a pass when they're using, like, like, I don't know, at least there's, like, a bit of an ethno beat polyrhythm thing going on. I'll give it, like, at least a bit of a free pass, but it's still not going anywhere. <sighs> it's like you're listening to a sheet of paper, essentially. Yeah. And, and, it, and it hit its absolute mm. worst like three or four years like ago. It's almost like a garbage just... bag that you're slowly crawling across. And I'm not saying there isn't still good music. I'm just saying, every, like, in general, you, like, you're not going to deflate from that. There's not going to be some revival of, like, of, like, super uncompressed music all of a sudden where they're like, I don't know, here's a bloop in this corner of the speaker and a bloop in this corner. It's like, nope, everyone's listening to you on, on your phone, so it has to be just like a sh like uniform sheet of paper. Oh. Well, I'm not going to just like jump Ooh. up and say, Paula Abdul is better than you, Madonna. Great, great song title. Here's Killers Who Are Partying. It has kind of a classical vibe here. And Killers? Who are partying. Are you sure you wouldn't be more annoyed by it if it was anybody else? Um, I'm just asking. Well, honest opinion. Well, if it, if it was. Honest opinion. If, well, if but, your girlfriend said, oh, listen to this. I thought it was really good. And you listen to this. Would you really? Yeah, because it would probably be better. Because if it wasn't Madonna, they would probably be more hungry and more passionate about what they were doing. Ah, and they would elevate all ah, of this. Ah, interesting. So it would probably be better. Interesting. But like, they would have went farther. Yeah. There's nothing so interesting so here, right? I mean, that's basically what we're running into all over yeah, and over. Yeah, it's just kind of a middling, interesting little tidbits of ideas. Can we just all <laughs> cheers to Spanish Madonna is back? Woo! I don't know what that means, but... Madam X, you mean. Dude. It's a concept album, but we can't figure out what the concept is. Dude, some it, guy in the stands just took a baseball to the face. <laughs> in this album? Uh. Don't you wish that had happened instead of this album? Yes. <laughs> you know what? This gets a free pass for me. Like, she's not trying to do, like, It's me, Madonna. I'm the queen of pop music, and I'm doing dance club music. And I... This is better Super than relevant. the Tchaikovsky sh oh, yeah. show. yeah. Like, this is easily... It's I, way I, better than chopping. I've not... Fuck that chopping. Well, it's finally kicking in. If you, I don't know. She's just, really I guess she's kind of doing, like, a cool, minimalistic thing. What kind of drug am I supposed to be on All right, right I'm going to read my This Sex is on have Fire to tell essay. what is your vasectomy essay. Once I get this... <laughs> oh, I think this finally died. Uh-oh. No. Oh. 
You can splice anything back together. You guys are just pussies. <laughs> oh, that looks really scary. Okay, here's an essay I wrote. Trailer yes. queen. <laughs> <clears throat> I know how to make <clears throat> mine up. <laughs> you need to. You need to. You need to re uh, charge your batteries. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, she can do it for you. Two wires and a plug. <laughs> this sex is on fire. Yes. An, an essay. Oh, Jesus. An essay. You made me read it. <laughs> no, I we, haven't read it yet. People don't hear. like to read. All right. And, and I, I'm not a good enough writer but to get, to get, get my to get like over. verbal emphases. Oh, yeah. In I want to so hear, I wanna hear you it's read it. It's better if I narrate it. Shit. Um, I don't have a drink for this. Next song is. If anyone's following at home, next song is Crave with a person named Swan Lee. Why is she doing these featuring with people nobody's ever f- heard because of? Because it's a thing you have to do in pop because music now. You have to have 1,200 people. Because changes her diapers. They're supposed to be people you've heard of, and that's what makes Hold you want to listen. I'll give this five seconds. Whatever. This is dumb. All right. <laughs> the sex is on fire. In as An essay. Preach, brother. <clears throat> the Sex is on Fire is a song by the band's Kings of Leon. Wait, is this a book report? <laughs> the guy who wrote it <laughs> thought it was really badass. <laughs> like, man, that friction was so abrasive, our genitals literally caught fire. <laughs> it's like Hendrix's guitar, except it's his junk. <laughs> It's the kind of edginess that only the most seasoned of pop bands peeking their head out, peeking their head into the dirty room at family video could muster. <laughs> Sex! Now that I have your attention, it's on fire! <laughs> and he's consumed with what's to transpire. <laughs> it's letting all the kids know just how awesome being naked and touching ladies can be when you reach peak middle of the road rock stardom. <laughs> My sex is the best, says the King of Leon. <laughs> is that Leon like the Sp- like a Spanish conquistador, <laughs> or Leon like a gas station employee? <laughs> I guess I'm just curious as to who gets that excited at the prospect of sex. It's great and all, but what dude sits around in horny contemplation of the act, <laughs> consumed by the future by the carrot of future sex dangling over his afternoon? The rubbing and heavy petting gets get me excited, but before that I'm mostly going about my day nauseous and thinking about how to contribute least to the downfall of civilization. If I'm consumed by anything, it's about what's about to transpire after I eat an entire La Bamba Super Burrito. <laughs> and who plans sex that far ahead? Or is he just that confident that he's going to get some? And wants us, the listener, to know that he knows. <laughs> Scroll down. (laughs) Next paragraph. How far ahead of time is he getting consumed? Could he be better spending his that time writing a better verse for his song? (laughs) This song is still going, by the way. Yes, it is. Um, I'm still not paying attention because it's really background music. Also, I looked it up, and this is the only use of the vocab delight that is transpired to be used in a song. So the kings do get some points for what? that and for not rhyming fire with desire or higher. Thank you. Commercial. Well, that's are, not what we did anyway. Are we supposed to be impressed at whatever transcendental tantric experience Leon thinks he's having? The music video takes place in a barn within the Matrix where the kings of Leon are fated to live in a per- <laughs> perpetual state of sweaty <laughs> lip licking horniness. The singer awakes from a horny coma and throws a and starts throwing a sex tantrum. The sex is on fire, and it makes him really colicky. No one believes how on fire it is. You're not my real dad. The sex is really on fire. Meh! Someone changed my sex diaper already. (laughs) With the lead singer lying prostrate, one of his bandmates reads from a large encyclopedia, or maybe a book of spells, looking for an expecto boner reductus patronus incantation while another eats broiled chicken 
Later, they all perform an exorcism on the lead singer, who seems to be possessed by an African fertility demon, well, most I likely a relative of Pazuzu, who later in the video is vomited out as a black, smoky plague dust. What? <laughs> Amazingly, there are no women in the video. <laughs> Wait, Ver is this an episode of Entourage or a music video? Both. Verse 1. The sex is so awesome that it is a topic of conversation at the cat park next to the King of Leon's castle. Verse 2. Doing it in back alleys and getting roadhead. Sweet. Verse 3. We're the greatest sex. We're the greatest at sex. Our bones jingle in a hot jungle jive fever like we're in an Oingo Boingo <laughs> video. <laughs> next par last paragraph. <clears throat> Singing about being horny is only cool if you're Prince. <laughs> prince turned desperately needing to bone into a ballet. Quote, listen, for you naked I would dance a ballet. Would that get you off? Tell me what will. If I was your girlfriend, would you tell me? <laughs> uh, unquote. Okay, that's stupid too, but all I'm saying is that you have to really own that shit. You're technically rock stars, so you should technically be bored with sex after a certain point, and into throwing tied-up groupies into hotel pools is your only means of getting off. The Kings of Leon spin... This song is f***ing horrible, by the way. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out, like, who it sounds like. Who does it sound like she ripped out? Like, who's the producer ripping off? This is the only kind of traditional pop song on Oh, wait, here. wait, wait, I got it. It's Taylor Swift's new song. Oh, no. You're right. All right, finishing this Sorry, up. Yeah, finish this up. I want to hear the rest. I mean, you're free to jump in onto this music at any point, but, like, where it's was Taylor I? <clears throat> the Kings of Leon spin the entire music video, the entire song and video playing coy, as if feeling the inflation of the nether regions is some long-held <laughs> rock and roll secret that they're finally revealing to the world, <laughs> breaking some ancient code of rocking ethics. Hendrix had a revolving door harem. The world is not set alight by the King of Leon's personal revelation that fornication is imminent. And twas dope. <laughs> Anticipation. Copulation. Am I missing his intended point of transpiration? <laughs> Option two. Uh, I don't know what that's called. Like an encyclopedia. Uh, what's the what's the thing with the words in it? Thesaurus? Uh, dictionary. Dictionary. <laughs> dictionary entry. Two. Botany. Swallow it. Of a plant or leaf giving off water vapor through the stomata. If they're referring to the botanical definition, then a lot of the song actually makes a great deal of sense. The roadhead parts don't, though. That's clearly still just about roadhead. <laughs> Final paragraph. The kings seem like maybe they had spent their adolescence consumed by the transpiration of the band and had simply missed sex altogether. So when they came up with that sick two-note verse riff and the, <laughs> and the foxes started nipping at their hen house perches, they freaked out and tried to play it as cool as they knew. Uh, yeah, um, my sex is totally on fire and stuff. I know how to do it in back alleys. Voice squeak, voice creaks. My sex scares kittens. The end. All right, back to this song no wait i right. want to do my response okay. who's who's winning i wrote a review of that song back when it came out what was the review and you just wrote on fire the sex is neither <laughs> sexy and the fire is not on fire that's correct <laughs> that is absolutely correct Oh, yeah, you gotta watch the music video. It's a bunch of dudes Seriously, standing in a circle, videos? jerking each other off, yeah. going, yeah, the, music video. the sex is on fire. Yeah. I never figured it out. Why do people like this? All right, who's currently winning Like with my 1.8 well, guess? my score is dropping by this, every time a new song starts. You guessed a four. Did you, <laughs> did, you skip the whole, like, did you skip that whole last song? I could have. Here's Come Alive. The Taylor Swift song was pretty good. I don't know. We, I just we all guess very it's low. It's like getting so bad. It's like making me, <laughs> you got to okay. stick with it. Right? How many more? It's making me ill. Oh, there's yeah, a lot is, more. Yeah, this is this is really bad. Okay. <clears throat> this is um, so, this is verging on unlistenable. We can no, we can listen. To, we can do this. How long? No, have there's been doing one, this? two, three, four, five, like you've already, six. You've already written a short story left. about a song you hate. 
This is so bad. <laughs> yeah. You've literally okay. written a wait, short wait, wait, story wait, wait, and wait, read it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to return to the original, while we were sitting the original here. premise at the beginning of this episode. We were talking about. You liked... Apparently, you, you, you did not... I can't tell whether you really cared for her early stuff or not. Like, the stuff I love. Like, you know, super early pop Madonna. I mean, <clears throat> Material Girl is one of my favorite 80s pop songs. So. Okay. So, but... You liked it better when she went to more of the adult contemporary stuff. Yeah. And, and he <laughs> liked... what we heard so far, I would say, is boring enough to be called adult contemporary. Yeah, but there's so still, ba- there's like still bad songs, like though. So I, I like... It's like awesome balloons. If you, like, kind of stretch them out, you're like, oh, that would be an... That would look like an awesome thing if it was actually inflated. So it's just like a bunch of uninflated <laughs> balloons... Yeah, because yeah, there's been a couple songs on here, and I'm like, there's you know nothing what? to any of this. We can continue talking, and I am enjoying talking over this album. Oh yeah, talk about yeah. like it's been, yeah. it's it's great background music. Several of these songs are not distractingly bad. She's making my everything hurt. Yeah, there, there's no actual songwriting in. Oh, I think I just stumbled across my permanent review of this album. Several of these songs are not distractingly bad. They're what? No, shut not up. distractingly no, bad. I don't agree. Well, you weren't listening to the ones that weren't distractingly bad. Oh, I thought they were awful. I tried. I tried to get in. They've left me alone here with this awful music. I'm coming back. (laughs) Uh oh, we lost the battery again. Doesn't matter. Let it die. (laughs) Let it die. (laughs) (laughs) She's snorting. You've made her snort like a piggy. <laughs> oh, this song just won't end. It's over, but it won't stop. She doesn't want anything to ever end. Oh my god, this woman. This might be the first one we don't actually make it all the way through. This is, it's not this gonna is, be the first one. There's been several we it's didn't not make as, it all it's the way not, through. It's, it's not as it's not as like what it's not as what the but f- you is. know of. Your, <laughs> your selective amnesia is adorable. It's not as what the f is boarding house reach. Because I could, I could picture myself falling asleep to this. A lot of this is you could fall asleep to it. You could study with it in the background. But God, there, there's nothing there. You could like, put that on at your adult person party, where you know, where like people are hanging out and having conversations, and it's not and gonna nobody's gonna get instantaneous up. diarrhea. No dance party is gonna break out. Here's extreme occident. What the f- are these words she's coming up with? She's making up words. Isn't Occidental like a religious like she monk thing? Like, she it's thinks not she's... It's not ox, Occident. I mean, wait, it's a word, but wait. it's not... The, these two words don't go together. Hold on, give this one a minute. This sounds kind of interesting. She thinks she's English. She thinks she's really smart. Okay, so when you look up Occidental, you get Occidental College, which is a thing in Los Angeles. Auto-tune is not an instrument. Share begs to differ. God. But then the very next thing that comes up, you get Occidental College and then Occidental Toolbag. Yeah, so it's like it's like a, a tell it to my uh, dog. <laughs> Don't to my dog. And then balls. you get Occidental Petroleum. It's like a so I'm thinking Catholic maybe it's not really a religious loop. order thing, isn't it? It's a loop thing. Not a well respected yeah. Occidental leather. It's a loop thing. I think they I need to take a balls. very long break from music let's try illegal substances until one of us has to call an ambulance <laughs> <laughs> i know i generally don't want to be i can't revive anyone <laughs> i went to cpr class i can revive all you bitches no I, I know, I know <laughs> not I if i take enough ketamine <laughs> I, know, I, know I, <laughs> I know exactly how much meth to take I know exactly how much We're special We're going to have to cut pay. all of this out. Hey, by the way, I won. <laughs> I f- won. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can go as high as a four. Yeah. Are, well, we, are we done with this? No, not no. at all. Not even close. This might be the new tapestry. <sighs> nah. I don't feel violently angry about no, it. No, I take that I'm back. I'm editing myself out there. Ready? Action. This is, this is not really at all boring. the new tapestry. This, like if like you took a, two it, tapestries yeah. and put them on top of your shelf and let them sit until the dust 
like right. wiped <laughs> them out of sound, but there was just the faintest little tapestry of sound. Yeah, it's it's that's it's, where this is. <laughs> it's, it's hip elevator music. Yeah. Ooh, you know just where like they would boarding play house this? They reach. would play this in the lobby at the W Hotel. This is just like boarding house reach. That because that's what that was was hip elevator music. Uh, hey, wait, like well, outside of I those like two comparison. songs. The boarding house reach. My biggest problem with that was that it was so goddamn schizophrenic. But at least one yeah, song was a, a least, rap song. The next yeah. one is an old blues song, and the next one is. 70s stuff and like it was just all over the place thematically this is more like we had that the first three four songs she was all over the place but then she really settled into whatever the fuck you call this here's faz gustoso seriously somebody needs to name the song something somebody can pronounce (laughs) pronounce pronounce that's right i said pronounce like obviously i'm gonna skip through it but i think i'm gonna give the try to give this another chance just listening to it like i don't know because I understand everything's like 20% worse when we're doing the podcast of it. Because oh. I, yeah. We jump to conclusions. And we enjoy sh- on oh, things. I mean, no. come on. It's fun. Yeah. Judging things yeah. is fun. Yeah, she spent a lot of money on some pretty shitty songs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's singing this one? Because that ain't Madonna. Madonna. This is somebody called Anita. Featuring. Anita. All I'm gonna say is like this is the least Madonna that's ever been in a Madonna album. Yeah, you, she's you, barely in this. I would yeah. I cannot believe uh, that it's like her Madonna just made an album where everybody, everybody else is singing. Ooh, yeah. Like what here are I you is. what is your name on here for? Like we know you didn't produce She's the vehicle. So okay, so <sighs> Prince used to give people uh, uh co- you know, give people coverage and give people exposure by saying, yeah. "Hey, this is my guy. I wrote a song for this guy." Madonna's writing her guests, and Madonna's <laughs> calling it a Madonna album, and really, it's just a vehicle for people she likes, I assume, to give them a vehicle to get some exposure. It's terrible. Prince did this better by just saying, "Hey, I wrote you a song. Oh, this is terrible. I wrote you a whole goddamn album, The Bangles. Go have fun with it." You're my people. I like you. I want you to get rich and famous. We're skipping. All right. Uh oh. Crap. Here's here's bitch. I'm loca, featuring oh, Maluma. Jesus, more. Where's uh, Madonna? I don't hear her voice. Yeah. What was that? She certainly didn't write this. What was that Latin American hit? If you didn't call this a Madonna song, I would like oh, this just that, fine. This like reggaeton, it all kind of sounds the same, but she's going for that Despacito song mm-hmm, that, that mm-hmm. was a hit. But it also just sounds like everything Shakira has ever done. And I think Shakira has a song called I'm Loca. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's like a weird double. There's no reason rip-off. for Madonna to do this. Is she even singing she's on this? She's got no business doing a song like this. Not without an auto tuner. It's like how how little of one's personality can you put into an album, and she accomplished the ultimate, which is none at all. Like she's in this in name only. Basically. And, and, and Madonna fans, holy love shit. this album! By the way, really? I've heard. Yeah, I told you. There's many. People Are we just not on the right drugs? Telling me that seriously, that we need new Madonna drugs. put <sighs> out Lewis. a friggin' uh, what do you call it? Like. You know the greatest album. I'm just. This is. I terrible. like this song. By the way, this but is the longest two minutes and fifty song, seconds in history. Like calling it a Madonna song just seems off the charts weird. Yep. There's no reason to believe she had anything to do with it. I think it. she just finally said something. Did she sneeze into the mic? Because I could hear this like ten times and never even think this was her. Yeah, I mean, I. I would enjoy listening. I would, like I said before, I would enjoy oh, laying I need in a, a pool, lot of vape for this drunk episode. off my ass, hearing this over the speakers around the pool. I think that's fantastic. I really enjoyed that song. What it's got to do with Madonna, I have no idea. This sounds vaguely voguish. Here's I don't search, I find. Oh God! I, I don't search, I find. Oh. What? Oh, I'm sorry, I was sleeping there for a minute. Are we still listening to a Madonna album? Theoretically. 
Who's the producer? Because I think this is a Who producer cares? album. Let's say his name no. is Shep Pettibone. It's a Shep Pettibone album. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because I'm still getting a, a bit of like a ray of light vibe where it's like someone was doing most of the packaging and then she just kind of shows up. Yeah. Which is like the Ray of Light album is just William. Somebody spent months on this, but it wasn't her. Yeah, like the Ray of Light album is just William Orbit, and then she sings over the stuff he did. You need a break from the noises. You can't waste your life listening to things just because other people like it, right? (laughs) That's why we're here, to torture (laughs) ourselves for your enjoyment. Next up, David Byrne. Let's just no. let's just let's just spend the rest talking about what was his anything name? else. What was his name? She's talking to the mic like it's in a, on that erotica album now. <sighs> I needed a break. My that. ears were Hold getting. Hold on, she, she's them. talking to us. Walking. What is she saying? Uh-oh. Okay, let's spin, let's spend the rest of this podcast talking to Chan- Chandler Sislak. Hey Chandler, what's up? Hey Chandler. I'm one of those dumbass conspiracy theorists on YouTube. <laughs> and why she, I'm an she, atheist. She wants a sandwich? <laughs> I don't know. I want a sandwich. Man, you know what makes Not... me just want to like jump into the abyss? Hmm. Mayonnaise. Basically just all of YouTube. Want a sandwich? Here's looking for mercy. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> that should have been the last song. <laughs> but the next one is I rise because I is Madonna. Oh, God. She's going to do a whole thing. Concept <laughs> album. Something. This might be the most boring album I've ever heard. Maybe if I was on the right cocktail of Valium and Xanax this would be really interesting I have never heard a more apathetic album in my life Mm, other than Poison's Look What the Cat Dragged In come on now you gotta gotta keep on Poison this is like this is like like one point above that that album is just like devoid of but they want to party all night long oh god on the ceiling. Okay. A lot of these songs, you but, can just like imagine laying in a tanning bed and falling asleep for 20 minutes. Next. Here's I Rise. Jesus, you never finished that song? All right. All I right, went to the won? bathroom and came back and you were still listening. God, all right. It's almost nine. He was nine. still bitching about the same song. I'm but sorry. It's how the podcast f***ing works. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gee, another... Is this a featuring? Ariana Grande. (laughs) That's it, Terminator 5. (laughs) I have to go back in time and kill Madonna to prevent her from... (laughs) Like, everyone would like her She's the Terminator! Like, the day... (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Judgment Day. On 2020, November 6th, she becomes aware... (laughs) <laughs> and destroys the earth. No. You can't do it as well as I can. No, Madonna, I'm Madonna. Madonna Judgment Day is the day after Ray of Light is released, and then I will go back in time and murder her. Oh, you're the guy that sleeps with... What's her name? All right, so who won? Okay, well, you labeled him wrong. Labeled what wrong? I totally lost. That was... God. It, we're that an hour Jason. and 18 in. Holy <laughs> shit. It's so terrible. All right. Okay, I, I, uh, I overstated my interest. I don't know how we're going to vote on this, but I, my vote was a 1.86. Yours was a 2.33. His was a 4. No, no, mine was a 4. His was the 2.33. Really? You wrote him down wrong. I, are you sure? I, I remember him voting too high. I like high. round numbers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll you gotta get it. the scoring right, man. I'll take it if you want, honey. It's all right. 
Mm. No, I, I overstated. 2.33 is closer mm. to correct for me. And, Brett, I think that 1.8 is fair. We all lost. We all lost. No, we all lost. America lost. We lost as a society. <laughs> no, 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 none of, none of us, is, none of us won. Like a fair rating for this is ugh. not a zero because there because I did like I like that Everybody one. Not every song was unlistenably hard. We are an hour into this, and is it even close to done? This like, is the last song because we've done stuff where I Fuck, found where I found terrible. I've done because we've done stuff where it's just been actively. I mean, this was actively painful, but I didn't. I, I <laughs> yeah. did. I careful what you say. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> it didn't become like total hell. It's just please end. And I did like parts of that dark ballet song. Oh, not that, that song. That was, no, that not was inter- at all. That was at least interesting. No, I personally, obj- I, I am personally offended by let's, that. Let's song. decide on a. I'm putting it up there with tapestry. Not that bad, but I'm putting it up there. What? You're saying Tapestry is not that bad? No, I said it's not as bad as Tapestry. If it's a 0 to 10 and Tapestry is 0... Don't put words in my mouth. No. I'm I'm getting close to the 2 on this. Tapestry was a negative (laughs) 2.95. Like, that's the baseline for absolute horridity. Horror. Um, Just call it horror. Just like it should be called. Look, 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 look what the cat dragged in is is an absolute zero point zero no, zero no, zero. No, 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 you're wrong. The, this this is a two point blah blah blah. This wrong. is a two point three <laughs> six seven. You know, you just increased there. your rating from earlier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Ask the accountant. No, oh, we're not asking anybody. Yeah. He's out of here. <laughs> Whoop, we're All right, done. My rating sticks around a two. I was overstating what I thought. No, I, I was, was wrong. I was wrong too. Was at a, a zero. Whatever the hell I had. So you have, had one. You had two point six or whatever. Ish. Oh, I was your wrong. Current rating? I was wrong. Sign us off. I'm done talking. It's was, terrible. This has been talking over albums. Madonna, Madame X. Never doing another new album again. <laughs> That's not true. Liar. <laughs> Always a liar. Ooh, there's a special offer just for us from Verizon. Goodbye, Cruel World. Oh, the. Well, are we, are we are done, done with this? No, not no. at all. Not even close. What the fuck are these words she's coming up with? <laughs>